back to another video. So as you can see, obviously today I'm outside um, because today we're going to be doing some tie-dyeing. Now, I'm sure you've noticed, I think through this quarantine, tie-dye has made another comeback. And I think like the biggest one yet, it's becoming a trend again. So like tie-dye is something I remember doing when I was like a little kid. And... I just remember always having a lot of fun when I would tie-dye stuff and it comes out really cute. So I ordered this tie-dye kit off Amazon. I believe it was $15, which is really not that expensive because it is a tie-dye party for five and it comes with 102 pieces. So it's really cool for only 15 bucks. So I'm outside today because I don't want to make a mess inside and also just because I want to be outside, get some fresh air. Um, I'm in my front yard, so hopefully my neighbors are not like, what the hell is she doing? Um, I also got some t-shirts from Amazon. I'm also hoping to do some hoodies and other stuff in the future. Um, I just have to get them. I want to do some of my merch since my merch hoodies are white. I think that would be really fun to do eventually, so eventually I'm going to do that. So we have our bucket of water here. I don't really remember exactly how to tie dye, but we'll read the instructions. Um, I'm really excited for this. I think this is going to be really fun. Uh, it's really nice out, so I'm excited. And yeah, got some snacks. We're just gonna vibe. We're just gonna have a time of our life. So let's open this up. Let's read the instructions. Ooh, look at this. Look at all the colors. It comes with so many colors. Is this a bag? Oh, this is like to lay it down on, so you don't get uh tie-dye everywhere which is good because i am sitting on um front um pathway so i don't want to get dye on the stones because i'd probably get on travel so alrighty so we have that laid down so i'm not gonna put it in the washer maybe i'll throw one of them in the washer actually but i'm gonna try getting one of them wet with just the bin I've got three shirts here, so if I have one, I can try again. <laughs> Mixed dye. Wearing protective gloves, add water to dye bottle, filling to the line. Replace cap tightly and shake until dye is dissolved. Use full strength for intense colors. For a lighter shade of color, add more water. So, I'm going to throw this in the bin. We're going to let that get soaked up while I set up the colors of dye that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm soaking this shirt in here right now. And then I'm going to put on the gloves and prepare some of the dye. I think I'm going to use... What color should I do? Let's see. I'm going to do this nice pink color. It's really pretty. Look how pretty that is. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to do a light blue color. And I think, that, oh, maybe a little bit of light pink. Let's try these three colors, because I don't want to use too many. Um, so there's a bunch of different ways you can tie it up and stuff. So I think I'm gonna do like the spiral one. That looks really cool. Um, so I'm gonna throw this into time lapse while I set up the dye and tie up the t-shirt and yeah. This is the situation. So I just shook up all these bottles and it doesn't say exactly how long, it just says to shake until all the powder is like dissolved so i hope that all of it's dissolved i shook it a lot so oh my god the sun went in guys i'm so mad i should have filmed earlier now the sun went in it's getting cold love that i want to try the spiral one that looks really sick and then also maybe like the three different colored shirt So we're just gonna pinch into a spiral. Alrighty, there we go. And then we gotta put a rubber band around the middle and a bunch more around like the rest of it. This does not look anything like the picture. It doesn't. Like, the picture's like nice and like, how do you style something out that nice?
guys. So I have tie dyed. Well, I had tie dyed the three T-shirts that I ordered off Amazon, and then I found another one in my room. So I also tie dyed that. Um, I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different bottles of dye, and there's still one, two, three, four, five, six. There's still seven left. So I can still do more tie dyeing another day. I don't know if I'm gonna wait till I get the hoodies probably. I wrapped them all up in tin foil and now we have to wait six to eight hours, but I don't even know if you can hear me because of the lawnmower. So I'm really sorry if you can't hear me. It definitely works better when they're wet. So I did wind up wetting the rest of them. I did one dry and the rest wet. Hopefully they all come out really cute. I can't wait to see them when they're finished. Anyway, I'll see you guys in six to eight hours, probably like 15 hours or overnight. Alrighty guys, I have my shirts inside, so what I have to do now is rinse out the extra dye, cut the rubber bands, and then put it in the wash separately, one shirt at a time. I'm going to start with the first shirt that I did. Hopefully it doesn't dye the sink. If this dyes my sink, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. dye came out so I'm really scared to put it in the wash because I feel like all the dye is going to come out I don't know why all right so it says we have to put it on the hottest setting heaviest soil um I would say normal rinse all right I'm gonna have to use a little bit of laundry soap so in she goes oh god just to use a tiny bit of laundry detergent, so we're gonna need a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. So I'm gonna put to I'm gonna turn this on. Come back. It should be done in about an hour, and um, we'll see. Hopefully, it, all the dye stays in, or at least some of it. And hopefully, it comes out good. And then I have to repeat this process with um everything else. So it's probably going to take me all day. By the end of the day, everything should be done, hopefully. Hi, you guys. So, if I'm being completely honest, it's been two weeks since I started filming this video. <laughs> so anyway, the shirts are done, obviously, and everything else I tie-dyed is done. So I'm going to show you the shirts, and yeah. So this one I decided to crop. I cropped it a little too short. However, it's still really cute. It's a t-shirt and it says insecure on it. I made this part when I was like in middle school and then I decided to tie dye it since it's what, since it was a white t-shirt. Um, this one's not my favorite. I don't know, it kind of looks like green here. This one's kind of weird. <laughs> guys it is so so cute it's just really like summery i wasn't sure if i wanted to crop all of them because this one's supposed to be like ombre and then like half it be cropped off but either way it looks super cute i really love this one <laughs> I really love these cropped. I love them not cropped. I sleep in these. They're just really, really cute, honestly. And I have more dye, and I cannot wait to order some more t-shirts so I can make more. They're so, so cute. And I'm thinking this summer, I'm probably going to sell them in my craft shop and at craft fairs because tie-dye is kind of like back. <laughs> guys this is the last shirt this is probably my favorite it has the spiral so I didn't want to crop this one either but again there's different ways you can style it 
like ponytailed up to the side looks super super cute the t-shirt fold like this is actually a good way to like crop it without actually cropping it it's a good way to see how things will look before you actually cut it and crop it looks super super cute <laughs> show you the pillowcases they came out so cute like look at this so so cute so I will definitely be using these on my bed for my pillows because it just adds some nice like fun color to it this one didn't come out as good um I used kind of the extra dye on these so there wasn't a lot of dye left and it was all kind of like diluted but they're so cute and definitely if I used more dye that wasn't diluted they would come out even cuter but that is all for this video so make sure of course to give this video a like if you love to tie dye things or crop things make sure to go down below and click the notification bell to join the rokes fam there's, there's going to be a giveaway at 650 subscribers and i'm thinking about giving away a t-shirt tie dyed by me as well since they're just so cute make sure to subscribe get me to 650 so we can do that giveaway i'm going to be giving away some of my merch um teespring sent me some samples and they're so cute. I have leggings, hoodies. I'm going to be giving a bunch of that stuff away. So make sure to get me 650 subscribers. We can do that giveaway. And of course, make sure to subscribe, join the Rogues fam. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!